Religion, should this be long? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. It's your boy Rex. Dragon Squad, bitch. I just got done seeing that Harley Quinn cosplay uh, dance video. Oh, my fucking God. I had to keep it rolling with the uh, the Marvel DC stuff, you feel me? So we got Nerdist over here, bruh. We got they goddamn, um, how can Cyclops see, uh, yeah, how does Cyclops see and shit. So we about to get into this, bruh. Subscribe. I provide that good quality content with that shitty quality camera. <laughs> you feel me? I'm not rich yet. <laughs> I'm not rich. They do it. The mutant known as Cyclops has been around for almost 50 years, What's making up, his Kyle? debut in the very first X-Men comic. Yeah. And in that time, his powers have become iconic. Exactly. The ability to shoot energy beams out of his eyes. But wouldn't having light coming out of the inside of your eyes at all times interfere with your ability to, you know, see, see stuff? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll think about that too. That's what we to find out. Cyclops. <laughs> like any superhero with decades cool, uh, of history, the explanation of Cyclops' powers is kind of complicated, but in essence, yeah. Cyclops' body absorbs radiation from the world around him, which opens Ooh, at will, up. stick with me now, portals to another universe filled entirely with energy inside of Scott's eyes. Mm -hmm. This energy is held at bay and focused by Cyclops' famous visor and glasses, but the question still stands, how the heck does he see through all this nonsense? Most of you that I asked this question went with a common sense answer. In the comics, in TV shows, in movies, Cyclops can see, so he can see. Okay, fine. But <laughs> I want to go one step further. How does he see? Exactly. Let's start with human eye anatomy. We'll just have to accept that portals to another dimension open up inside of Cyclops' eyes. Fine again. But where? At his Pupils, where incoming light can be controlled like the aperture on a camera? Uh, I don't think so. If the portal was right at Cyclops' pupil, then all the incoming light would be going not into the back of his eyes where vision would happen, but into another dimension, which would make him blind. Okay, so what if we put the portals more inside of Cyclops' eyes, like in the center? <sighs> yeah. Nah. If the portal formed right in the center of Cyclops' eyes, then all of the light coming from his optic blasts would overwhelm his retinas, where your yeah. rods and cones turn the detection of photons into vision. This would make him blind again. Is there anywhere these portals can be? In accordance with eye anatomy? I think so. But I want to show you where with a little science experiment. Okay, so science. choose one of these objects science. that you want to look at. Not all of you are on the same device, so this might take a little bit of finagling. Choose one object and then close the eye on the same side of that object. Then look at that object with your open eye. Now move your face closer and further away from your screen until the object that you did not choose disappears. You might even want to try to pause the video and, and, and give this a try. I'll, I'll wait. I don't see my shit disappearing, coach. Did it work? No. Science! You just located your blind spot. All of the information that is turned into vision by your brain flows through your I don't know what the fuck happened. Maybe nerve. I have my glasses on? But uh... the connection for this optic nerve actually covers some of your retina in what's called an optic disc. You don't notice this blank spot in your vision, this blind spot, because your brain edits it out and fills it in with its own information, which kind of makes uh, conscious reality a lie. What the fuck? <laughs> but this does give us a perfect spot to put Cyclops' eye portals. If the portals in Cyclops' eyes were tiny, tiny holes, like pinholes on his blind spots, then it shouldn't affect his vision any more than a blind spot already does. And in this configuration, the energy and light could even use his eye's lenses for focusing. That works. Mm -hmm. So with the right configuration, these portals should allow Cyclops to both see and shoot. However, there are problems with this. Uh... <laughs> The first problem is that because of his eyes' lenses, his blasts come out slightly upwards <laughs> like this. But have you ever noticed that when Cyclops fires, he kind of leans forward a little he bit does. with his head? Yeah. See? Problem solved, kind of. 
The other problem is with eyes in general. Your eyes are never perfectly still. They're constantly making micro saccades or tiny involuntary movements. Imagine trying to aim an optic blast when your eyes are literally doing this constantly. Yeah, you don't notice that because your brain is always editing the footage of your life into the movie that is consciousness, making your life kind of a lie. Damn. <laughs> But maybe Cyclops <laughs> has a mutation to deal with these micro saccades. <clears throat> Lastly, and this is honestly more of an aesthetic problem, because Scott's eyes are always firing when open, even if he can see, the inside of his glasses always look like this. With tiny lasers tracing out where his eyes are looking at on the inside of his glasses at all times. That is dumb. Yeah. But <laughs> that doesn't matter, because if pinhole portals to an energy dimension are placed over Cyclops' blind spots, then he should be able to fire his optic blasts and see just fine. Okay. I am giving Scott all of the benefits of all of the doubts here, but maybe I'm just prone to see the world through rose-colored glasses. Because science. <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah, I, I see. Wow. Get his cool ass. Thank you so much for watching. On my previous video about werewolves and the moon, a lot of you took issue with what the moon is actually doing and mentioned its effect on stuff like violent crime. That's a myth. If you look at the statistics, on average, no more crimes or hospital admissions happen during a full moon than any other night. Because science. Yep, science. You want some proof that tiny pinhole portals open up inside Scott Summer's eyes? Here you go, look at that clip. Boom, validated. <laughs> Niggas there, boom, validated. Uh, that's it for that gent, guys. Uh, shout out to my man's Kyle. Uh, go to Nerdist, subscribe to my niggas, like that video. You feel me? Um, <clears throat> yeah, cause I I, I want to see that video cause I've always I always watched this stuff in uh my free time and um this just seemed like an interesting uh shit to uh, get out to you guys. Um, I I, I always wonder like yeah like how the fuck can this nigga see and blast at the same time? Yeah, but the shit he was saying with the glasses, like, the blasts keep hitting the glasses, that, 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 that is kind of fucking retarded. But, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, man, goddamn. So, guys, post the comments down below. Let me know what you guys all thought. Um, tell me what you guys want me to react to next. Uh, I, uh, react to anything. You feel me? There's a fucking beep it. I don't fucking know what the fuck that shit is. Uh, anyway, I'm about to be out this bitch. Uh, Dragon Squad, bitch! You feel me? <laughs>